Right, good afternoon. Um, I think it's episode six of the Shana's uh, Shinuki Arts Arty August. So we're playing in this little book. I'll leave a link to her channel. So just pop over there and you can see all about what we're up to. So um, she's asked us to work on a black and white page. I didn't have one. It was the two book pages. So what I've done is I found a piece of scrapbook paper, which is obviously black and white. And that has reinforced that no end. And then that had the um, flappy bit on it anyway. So it's quite um, quite strong anyway. But we've now got a nice black and white back, black and white background. Um, yeah, so it's just collage putting stuff on, making a focal point, playing with some gesso, some marks and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just crack on. Um, if you're watching Shana, you'll you'll know all this anyway. So, um, yeah, she did put on some black and white music paper. I did have to hunt for this, but um, luckily I did have some. So <clears throat> I shall lay some down. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of build up the elements and it's all about contrast this week. So I've chosen shocking pink, fluorescent. <laughs> it's a good contrast if ever there was one. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack on and I'll, I might sort of voice over if I need any, if I've got to tell you anything. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Uh, Shana used a heart as a focal point. I've die cut this crow because I like crows. I found my cheesecloth. I know. I found it. Yay. I knew I had some somewhere. Um, I'm going to be using this piece here. Um, when I did one of my ATCs, this was the iron off sheet. But it is the um, bright pink. And um, I got this gold spotted tissue paper. And all I did was with that um, cheapy kids paint hobby craft pen thing, um, I just went over it and it looks, I think it looks really nice. So anyway, I'm going to play. I'll put you on a bit of fast forward so you don't have to sit here and be bored to death. Oh, and I've also got this die cut that I'm going to use. Well, it's, um, it's the leftover bit, basically. But I'm going to put that there. I quite like that. And yes, the seagulls are on one because it's raining. So they think it's marvellous. <laughs> um... Right, let's go. I'll see you on the other side.
Right, I'm just going to hit this with the heat gun. Lost my there it is. Um, because it's a little bit soggy. <laughs> so, and um, yeah, I don't think anything's sticking properly. So I will be back with you shortly. I'm just going to have a quick wipe up as well. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Right, that's a bit better. It's drier now. So I just trimmed up this paper at the side. I've got these bits left. I think I'm going to use them. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you, quite frankly? I'm going to colourise this bit. I have just decided. I've got a black permanent marker pen here. no idea why do we ever know why we think things look right we just kind of guess really don't we it's a nice contrast because that's what we're after today is all the contrasts that's what it's all about can we use you somewhere, you poor little orphan? Let's put that there, glue stick. There we are, a bit of shiny. Um, I'm going to make a focal point over here. I like my crow. So I'm just going to tear. That's I need something to stand on, I feel. At least some bit of <sighs> leftover bit, basically. Um, I think that's going to be black as well. <clears throat> I did get out on. Whoa. My black gesso. I don't think I've ever used this. Oh, yeah, I must have done. Way too much paint. For a minute we mm -hmm. need to do some mark making as well so i think i think i think i think let's get this sorted first so we'll see more of that i think there and when 
that's dry. Or stand him on there or something. Yeah, that works. Right, okay. So the other thing we can do is do some mark making, really. I'm going to, might as well use up that black gesso now that I've got it out. And that's going to go down there, so... Not the right brush. Stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm liking it. I feel this needs something. Oh, it really is raining now. <laughs> you can hear that. Wow. That's a Laura Laura rain. Sorry. <laughs> it's my birthday. It always rains on my birthday. Always. I've never had. I mean, you know, it's been dry, but um, it always rains at some point on the 13th of August, guaranteed. I'm in a bit of a food coma at the moment because I've been out to lunch with my girls. <laughs> Just sat here like, Bleh. I got home and I thought, right, I'm not going to sit down because I will fall asleep. <laughs> so... I made myself come up here and start doing this. Because I would have been snoozing. I know I would. It's a lot of circles. Okay. Now, I did get out my stabilo all. So, again, we're doing that whole scatty circle thing with the black well this is the stabilo all this time last time i used the ink tents didn't i You're probably not going to see much of that one because the um embellishment's going to go on there clearly dog grooming going on next door it's all happening it's all happening yeah it can't go over that far it's got to come over here because i've got me center there okay I don't know if you're you dry. We are now. Right. Let's get that stuck down. I can stick my crow on. And I think apart from a bit of splattering. Oh, there's some lovely fresh air coming through the gap in my window. It's a fresh air gap, it's not, I've got a holy window. <laughs> um, no, I want him to stand on it, right, okay. falling down <laughs> lovely that black gesso dries really quick which is all good it 
I'm not worried if that doesn't stick actually. It's quite nice when it's stuck up. Kill. Put my thing down again. There it is. Um, needs more. Shouldn't have stuck it on yet. Too late. Just like that, it stops. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed the difference in the sound. You probably did too. And somebody asked me about these. Um, uh, what brand are you? Kurtaki water brushes, they're the best. Those cheapo ones were just annoying to say the least. <laughs> right, okay. I'm quite liking this. That's looking quite good. So I'm just thinking maybe a few slatters. Slatters? No. Let's try splatters. Let's activate those circles as well. Just realise I didn't do that. Yes, they are... Um, Pretty marvellous to say the least. Yeah, they were a bit of an investment, but I sort of justified it because the last one lasted me, oh crikey, twenty years. I'm not gonna out. I'm not gonna outlive this one, you know. So. Well, I might. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, I think I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to stop pushing my luck. I'm going to do some pink and some black splatters, and I think we'll call it a video because I think that's everything that Shanta did. I honestly can't remember now. I watched it last night. I'm just trying to find my fan brush. So bear with me. Right, so we need a little bit more water in there, I think. And we'll mix that black gesso while we're here. You stay on the paper, thank you. Let's do the black first. I use my Shana thing to <laughs> cover me. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I don't think I want it on the fabric, so let's just tuck all that under there. Never really get on with this fan brush.
happy with that. That's quite mucky, but I'm quite liking that. It's going to be a dirty pink. I didn't get all the black out. Never mind. It's fine. This is going to need a lot of drying time, as you can probably imagine. Oh, it doesn't want to splatter. <laughs> okay, All right, quick. Damage control. Oh, let's get a tissue. I knew I was going to do that as well. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. I'm going to hit that with heat gun. Come back in a minute. Right, we're more or less dry. This is curling up, so I'm just going to stick that down. I know Shana put some threads on the threads under hers, but I didn't. Um, I didn't bother. So hide the boo boo. I need to put a word on anyway, or some words. And I picked this out of a book. That's a good, really good way to find some harvesting. So I've got Nature of the Colours. I thought that fitted really well. So what I might do is get a piece of that. Let's take, let's take that bit, I think. Glad I kept these now. And I did the old ATCs. Bits like this fascinate me anyway, so I know I'd keep it. <laughs> Everything disappears. Put it there that kind of looks like a deliberate then doesn't it <laughs> not like you dropped a fan brush susan no i know It's getting a mind of its own all of a sudden. There. And they're not quite dry, these big blobs, but they're not far off. Is that straight? That's straight enough. Okay. What do we reckon? Do we like Mr. Crow? I like Mr. Crow. So obviously it needs to dry a little bit more. I think I'll do the edgy thing again, which if you don't know what I get up to when I shut the camera down, <laughs> it's just um, using the black pen, doing a couple of squiggles. Just making a border really.
Not that it's really showing up on there, but. Ooh. Awfully waxy there. What did we do? Can't remember. Story of my life. Can't remember anything, me. Right. Okay. Do I want some black circle things in there? Yeah, probably. really get the contrast going lick your chin up mate okay don't well I think that is very contrasty I quite like his head sticking up I don't mind that at all if it becomes a problem I'll stick it back down but I do want to give him a glossy black eye you're not gonna work now are you oh everything against me today Just put a drop of this stuff on the glossy accents If it still works, because I have not used this for ever. Right, actually, it is. I'm just going to carry on playing <laughs> like you do. It's very matte otherwise, because even the um, the black gesso is very matte. So we just give it a little bit of gloss here and there. And, like I say, I rarely use this stuff. This itself has got to be about 10, 15 years old. <laughs> so, I mean, shout out to the um, people that make these things. They certainly have longevity, that's for sure. That's it. I'll put you a photo at the end when it's all glossy and hopefully looking good. Gotta do this one now, of course. Right, okay, stop playing, Susan. There we are. Let me get this in closer for you. Just try and keep it flat for a bit. So there we are. Certainly is contrast. And there's going to be some nice shiny bits on there when that's dry. So hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.